Zero FX by Purpose Built Moto. Australia's Purpose Built Moto Company has recently expanded its custom portfolio with a supermoto build based on Zero FX Dual Sport. The visual transformation started with the frame revision that lowered the seat height and introduced a custom leather seat. The handlebars and the information dashboard were lowered too, thus giving a sportier feel. Next came the introduction of 17-inch cast wheels with a black and blue color scheme on the rims, a round headlight and bodywork with alloy and plastic elements that neatly hid the additional electrical components. These new elements received a white and gray color scheme and were enhanced with contrasting blue decals and black livery. In the rear, the build received a thinner rear fender, angular side panels, and a three-piece LED taillight. Greenger Power Sports G3S while most people believe that electric vehicles bring cleaner air and low running cost, Greenger Power Sports decided to turn the latest EV technology into an endless source of fun. Their latest model is a mini supermoto style bike that has a seat height of just 27 inches, an 8.2 inch ground clearance, and a weight of 154 pounds. Despite its compact dimensions, the G3S has a durable twin spar frame that ensures a weight capacity of 300 pounds. The power comes from a 6 kilowatt mid-mounted motor with a chain drive and a 72 volt 30 amp hour battery that enables speeds up to 47 miles per hour. The G3S has three performance modes, giving between 40 minutes and two hours of running time. Grit Motors GR1T With a weight of 154 pounds, including 2.1 kilowatt-hour battery pack, Grit Motorcycle is one of the lightest offerings on the modern e-bike market. This model was developed by a German startup and can be ordered either in a street-legal or an off-road setup. The street-legal setup comes with three powertrain options, 4, 10, or 15 kilowatts, depending on your license. Suitable for beginner riders, the 4 kilowatt powertrain offers 28 miles per hour speed capabilities, while the top of the line A2 compliant model is good for 15 kilowatts, 184 pounds feet of torque, and 60 miles per hour top speed. The list of standard components includes an adjustable front and rear suspension, front and rear disc brakes, and 14 inch supermoto wheels. The off road setup gets a ground clearance revision from 280 to 380 millimeters introduces an adjustable Olean suspension, 21-inch front, 19-inch rear wheels with Pirelli Scorpion tires, and a motor with a variable output. In the Eco mode, you can ride at speeds up to 28 miles per hour, while in the Performance mode, you can gain access to the peak output of 15 kilowatts and reach 60 miles per hour. Stark Varg Project Neptune Stark Varg is a groundbreaking electric motocross bike that was one of the first to outperform its gasoline counterparts in terms of performance and power to weight ratio. So it's unsurprising that Paul Schroeder, an industrial design student from Denmark, used it as the basis for his conceptual design. Paul didn't want to limit this machine to racing trails only and used it as a base for the mind blowing supermoto called the Neptune. This custom bike features new bodywork with a white yellow black color scheme, the original carbon subframe, new Brembo calipers, a skid plate for the battery, a vertical dual LED headlamp, and a set of tarmac ready Goodyear tires, and a quick swap plate to fully prepare it for public roads. As for now, the Neptune is at a conceptual stage, but wouldn't it be cool if a bike like this was put into serial production? If you agree, make sure to voice your opinion in the comments.
in order to create a mean and powerful electric supermoto bike. A young company from Portugal has used their extensive knowledge and experience in producing CNC parts for motorcycles and components for electric vehicles. Their build is characterized by a great deal of CNC and carbon fiber parts, as well as a relatively low weight of 293 pounds. Despite weighing like a 125cc city bike, the Supermoto is capable of putting out 100 kilowatts of motor power and 177 pound-feet of motor torque. The torque parameter at the wheel is equal to 531 pound-feet. The specs that are already available include a battery pack with 12 kilowatt hours of capacity, the top speed capabilities of 125 miles per hour, the use of a single-sided aluminum swing arm and suspension system with 209 millimeters of travel in front and 190 millimeters in the rear. Untitled Motorcycles Death to Petrol In our previous videos, we've already featured several unique electric motorcycle builds by the Anglo-American company called Untitled Motorcycles. Today, we'd like to briefly mention one of their most recent builds called Death to Petrol. It's a no-nonsense ultralight motorcycle suitable for city commuting. It has a wide tubular frame, a brace monoshock swing arm, 17-inch wheels, a supermoto-style seat, ISR brakes and a suspension setup borrowed from a 390 Duke by KTM. As for the powertrain, it was sourced from a Suron dirt bike and is represented by a 5 kilowatt electric motor with a chain drive and a removable battery pack good for up to 60 miles of riding. In terms of performance, you can expect a maximum speed of 55 miles per hour and wait for 4 hours every time the battery charge needs to be replenished. DAV 1 Alpha Limited to just 400 units, the motorcycle is a fine display of the latest EV technology, modern electronics, high-quality motorcycling parts, and handcrafted elements by skilled artisans. The mid-mounted motor is paired with a Gates carbon drive to transfer 11 kilowatts of nominal and 25.5 kilowatts of peak output to the rear wheel. With 291 pound-feet of wheel torque, the model offers quick acceleration with a top speed of 80 miles per hour. A full charge of 7.1 kilowatt-hour battery brings up to 93 miles of riding. However, the range estimations depend on the chosen performance mode, Eco, Standard, Sport, or Nitrous Boost. The bodywork is offered in two colors, white and gray, while the minimalist design features upcycled carbon fiber bodywork elements an adjustable suspension fork with tin gold treatment, an LED daylight strip, a handcrafted Alcantara saddle, and a glove box. Aprilia Electrica this Italian motorcycle giant follows the footsteps of other legacy manufacturers and is considering the gradual move towards electrification of their lineup. Just like Kawasaki that started its electrified journey with a beginner-friendly, lightweight e-motorcycle, Aprilia is planning a compact supermoto with a low saddle height. This upcoming e-bike was previewed by Aprilia Electrica Concept, which first appeared at the EICMA exhibition. Despite showing the functioning bike with a sporty stance, sharp bodywork, a triple headlamp cluster, a bright color scheme, and multiple Aprilia decals, the manufacturer didn't disclose any performance parameters. Based on the scarcely available information, this two-wheeler will have both brake controls on the handlebar, a mid-mounted motor, and a chain drive, and a host of smart features like a keyless start system, a large LCD information display, and active safety aids. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. 
Thanks once again, and till next time.